today on WFMS. We have some important information as we approach the end of our week. If you're a part of the Captain's Creative Writing Club, you'll want to listen up. The Water Club Club will not meet this afternoon. Would you like to know what happened on this day in history? Would you be interested in trying out for Winter Color Guard? We have some important news for you. Have you bought your yearbook yet? The WFMS Admiral Announcement Network starts now. All aboard, Admirals. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admirals Announcement Network. I'm Hadley. And I'm Heidi. Welcome to your home for news announcements. And more on WFMS. Now for today's news and announcements. Watercolor Club members, listen up. Watercolor Club will not meet this afternoon, but we will meet again next week on Thursday the 17th. Please mark your calendars and make, make your parents aware. Do you love history? FMS now has a National History Day Club. For the first meeting and for more information, please plan to join Mrs. Darrow and on Monday, November 14th at 3.40 in Silver Pod Room 103. We are helping with the FHS Love Kitchen Canned Food Drive this year. We want to remind you that the Love Kitchen Canned Food Drive will run until tomorrow, November 11th. We are so excited to see all, the, all that the middle school will do. Are you a part of the Captain's Creative Writing Club? We will be meeting again next Monday. Stay tuned for any updates. If you're interested in purchasing your yearbook or 8th graders, if you are wanting to take out an ad, just visit the Farragut Middle website and click on the Want to Buy a Yearbook link. The, the prices for your yearbook pr package range from $45 to $69. Order your yearbook today. That's it for announcements. Now for a Throwback Thursday, exploring events from this day in history. Hi, I'm Gabriel. And I'm Danan. Now for our Throwback Thursday as we look at this day in history. Did you know that on this day in 1871, journalist and explorer Henry Stanley found the missing David Livingstone in Central Africa and made his famous comment, Dr. Livingstone, I presume? On this day in 1928, Hirohito was crowned Emperor of Japan. Did you know that on this day in 1951, the first long-distance telephone call without operator assistance took place? On this day in 1969, Sesame Street premiered on PBS TV. On this day in 1970, the Great Wall of China opened the, to the world for tourism. On this day in 1982, the Vietnam Veterans Memorial opened in Washington, D.C. History is always in the making. What will your history be? Now for our sports brief. Hi, I'm PT. And I'm Nora. Now for a quick sports update. Our basketball season is rolling along, and you can catch all the scores and updates weekly here on the Admirals Announcement Network. We want to remind you that for home games, students need to wait until their grade is called to bus hall and then go to the gym. An important reminder for students. If you leave campus, you will need your parents with you in order to return and attend the game. No down the hill, then walking back up. Our next basketball game will be tonight against Whittle at Home. If you're interested in trying out for Winter Guard, listen up. Modern Winter Guard is a competitive, performance-based activity which incorporates choreographed staging, dance, and manipulation of equipment such as flags and prop rifles, and sabers, also known as spinning. If you would be interested in trying out for the Winter Guard, the auditions have begun. The program this year will include three teams, middle school, junior varsity, and varsity. No experience required. Just bring athletic clothing, a positive attitude, and a willingness to learn. If you are interested in auditioning today and tomorrow are the last days to try out. Auditions will be from 4 to 5.30 p.m. in the FHS Auditorium. If you have any questions, feel free to email our guard director at taylor.duncan007 at gmail.com. That's it for sports. Now back to the news desk. For 
our attendance matters moment today. Remember that the regular attendance can produce better academic performance. It can also provide more work options and earning potential in the future. Be in school every day because every school day counts. Thank you for joining us this morning on WFMS, the Admiral's News Network. We hope you have a great day and evening. Make good choices. Be kind. Stay safe. And, and we, we will see you tomorrow. tomorrow.